Your indoor air can be five times more polluted than the air outside. Every time you take a breath at home, you could be inhaling an invisible cocktail of dust, chemicals, mold spores, and even toxic particles just building up in your system. That's why an air purifier isn't just a nice to have, it's essential. In this video, I'm breaking down everything you need to know to pick the right purifier, avoid the costly mistakes that make so many of them useless, and protect your health from the toxins trapped indoors. So if you're ready to breathe better and live healthier, let's get started. All right, before we jump into the features and options, let's break down why indoor air quality is such a big deal. Our modern homes are well insulated, which keeps them warm or cool depending on the season or climate. But the same insulation also traps a lot of airborne pollutants inside, things like dust, mold spores, volatile organic compounds or VOCs from furniture, and even things like pet dander and pollen. According to a Harvard study, indoor dust alone can contain up to 45 different chemicals from household items that are in daily use, many of which are known to disrupt our hormonal balance and cause respiratory issues. Now, add in that most of us spend around 90% of our time indoors, and it's clear that investing in good air quality isn't just a nice to have, it's essential for our health. So if you've been on the fence about whether an air purifier is worth it, the short answer is absolutely yes. It's one of the best investments you can make in your home and health, but only if you know what to look for. When shopping for an air purifier, there are a lot of terms thrown around like HEPA, UVC light, and ionizers. So let's quickly clear up what really matters. Go for true HEPA, not just HEPA type. HEPA filters are considered the gold standard for capturing tiny particles, down to 0.3 microns in size. By choosing a true HEPA, you're ensuring that even those ultra-small particles think bacteria, smoke, and even some viruses get trapped, not recirculated back into the air. Many purifiers boast UV light to kill bacteria and viruses or use ionizers to charge particles so they stick together. But research shows that most bacteria or viruses aren't in the air long enough to be neutralized by these features. Worse, ionizers can create ozone as a byproduct, which is harmful to both humans and pets. Focus on the basics, HEPA and a good carbon filter if you're dealing with odors and VOCs. Leave the UVC and ionizers on the store shelves. Clean air delivery rate, CADR, is a standard that tells you how much clean air the purifier can deliver per minute. As a rule of thumb, aim for a CADR rating of at least 300 for small rooms and 400 plus for larger spaces. The CADR helps you make sure that the purifier is effective enough for your room size, which can save you money and keep your air as clean as possible. Knowing the CADR ensures that the purifier you choose actually meets your air quality needs for each room. We often get messages from people asking if a certain purifier is good enough to clean an entire home or an apartment. In most cases, the answer is no, but not for the reason you think. Air purifiers are designed for single rooms, and even if you get a high CADR model, it won't effectively clean the air across multiple closed spaces. Instead of one large purifier, get smaller ones for each room you want to treat, especially high-use areas like bedrooms and living rooms. Now that we know what to look for when choosing an air purifier, let's talk about some common mistakes that can turn this essential tool into a waste of money. Avoiding these pitfalls will help ensure your air purifier does exactly what it's meant to clean your air efficiently and effectively. Number one, ignoring filter replacement costs. One big hidden expense with air purifiers is replacement filters. Some units have affordable filters, while others can be surprisingly pricey. Check the filter cost and replacement schedule before purchasing, so you don't get stuck with ongoing costs you didn't expect. Number two, not isolating rooms properly. Just placing an air purifier in one room doesn't mean it will clean the whole house. Air purifiers work best when they are in enclosed spaces. So if possible, close doors to keep the purified air from mixing with unfiltered air from other rooms. And remember, if you want every room to benefit, it's worth investing in additional units. You don't have to go crazy and place a unit in each room in your house. You can skip hallways unless they're really big and bathrooms or a guest room unless you want to be really extra nice to your 
guests. But prioritize the rooms where you spend the most of your time, which is likely bedrooms, living room, and kitchen, and maybe an office if you have one at home. Number three, using air purifiers for mold instead of fixing the source. Air purifiers can trap mold spores, but can't resolve mold problems. Mold grows in damp, dark places, so fixing leaks, controlling humidity, and addressing visible mold with the right cleaning methods is essential. An air purifier can support a mold-free environment, but it won't replace necessary repairs. So now that we've covered what not to do, let's shift focus to what will help you maximize the benefits of your air purifier. From the best ways to use it to extra tips for enhancing indoor air quality, these practices ensure your air purifier works at its best. Start with natural ventilation. One powerful yet often overlooked step to better air is simply opening your windows. Yes, bringing in fresh air twice daily, especially in the early morning and late evening when the outdoor pollution tends to be lower, allows trapped pollutants to exit and naturally replenishes indoor air. While this may not filter out fine particles like an air purifier does, it's an excellent baseline practice and actually complements purifier use. So regular ventilation combined with an air purifier can often be best of both worlds, a natural flow of fresh air and filtered indoor air to handle ongoing pollutants. Run your air purifier continuously. To work effectively, air purifiers are designed to operate around the clock, removing new particles as they enter your space. Think of it as a constant line of defense against dust, dander, and airborne pollutants. Some purifiers even offer energy saving or sleep modes for quieter, low power operation. Running your air purifier continuously ensures air stays consistently cleaner without waiting for the pollutants to build up again. Use carbon filters for odors and VOCs. If odors or VOCs are a concern, let's say after purchasing a standard new furniture or some home remodeling, choose an air purifier with an activated carbon filter. These filters absorb chemicals and odors from cooking, pets, or household products. While HEPA filters handle particulates, they don't neutralize smells. Carbon filters do. Just remember, carbon filters may need more frequent replacements, depending on odor levels in your home. And keep pets safe avoid ionizers. Many people wonder if ionizers are safe to use around pets. It's best to avoid them as ionizers can emit ozone, an irritant for both humans and animals. Stick to purifiers that rely on HEPA and carbon filters. These are both pet friendly and highly effective at trapping pet dander and other airborne particles without releasing any harmful byproducts. We actually have one older filter at home with an ionizer, but we don't use that function. So if you already bought one, just look for the off button. By combining natural ventilation and following these straightforward air purifier tips, you can create a healthier indoor environment and truly maximize the quality of the air in your home. When it comes to air purifiers, the right brand can make all the difference. Through personal experience, we've tried and tested various models to find brands that perform well without the frills. While no purifier is perfect and some eventually do start making a noise or need regular adjustments, these are the brands we feel confident recommending. Number one, Koei. Koei purifiers are straightforward, quiet, and highly effective without too many extra features. They just work. The Air Mega series, especially the Air Mega 150, provides reliable filtration, although we found it can sometimes develop minor vibration issues when placed on hard surfaces. For this reason, we recommend putting them on a carpet or a soft pad like felt or sheepskin to keep them quieter in the bedroom. Koei remains our go-to brand for its simplicity and reliability. Vinix purifiers also deliver great performance and while some models do have ionizers you can easily switch this feature off to avoid ozone emissions. We have used the Vinix Zero series which does a solid job with particle filtration though some units have developed occasional rattling sound over time. It's not clear if this is unique to our units but it's worth noting if you're particularly sensitive to sound. Levoit purifiers are a budget-friendly option offering solid particle filtration at a lower price point. Models like the Core 300 are compact and easy to use, although at one point we did experience some metallic noise with prolonged use. That said, for smaller spaces or anyone looking for an entry-level purifier, Levoit models are dependable without breaking the bank. Also worth mentioning is IKEA. While we haven't personally tested IKEA's air purifiers, we've heard positive feedback about their simplicity, affordability, and efficiency in small spaces. Although we can't endorse them from our own experience, they're definitely worth checking out, especially if you're looking for another budget-friendly alternative. 
If we were to buy new purifiers today, Kowei would be our top choice due to its consistent performance and great design. While many other brands likely have strong offerings, these are the ones we've personally used and trust to keep the air in our home cleaner. Switching to a high quality air purifier and following these best practices can transform your indoor air quality and improve your health. But remember, air purifiers are just one piece of the puzzle. In our next video, we'll tackle a major issue many homes face, mold. Air purifiers can definitely help, but they won't solve serious mold problems. If you're ready to uncover how to detect, remove and prevent mold for a truly healthy home, click here to watch our next video. Let's make your home as safe as it can be, one step at a time.